Oh man, this is a good one. Guys, I'll be reacting to Gold Got 100. You have the name of the channel right there. Star Citizen Overspend and Regrets. This is gonna be interesting. Let's check this out and react. Some Star Citizen Overspend and Regrets from the last three years. $25,000. Legatus Navium. Once I went over 30K, I was kind of shocked. After 40k, I was embarrassed. I've suddenly come to the realization that the $25,000 I've spent over the last 10 years could have been put towards things like a larger house deposit. Yes. Paying off my car. Twice over. I was one of the first backers and backed it to the tune of $35,000, and I feel like they've wasted my money, and I have every right to say as much. When I first backed... What do you think they would do with you? You thought what? They would be what? It's all going into game development. It's a company. It's a company that at this point, if you don't realize that they're just mostly pretending to be making a game, you're, yeah, you just don't get it. You're, it is really all on you. But it just blows my mind. And you realize reading these things, and I get that some of these may be fake, but reading some of them, you realize that they're definitely not. And it's definitely people that are not exactly rich. They're not wealthy. But Given that this is maybe the one thing they have in their lives that they're happy about or enjoy or maybe are addicted to, you go into fucking enormous numbers and it just blows my mind. I was a broke university student keen to play a game that sounded like it gave me everything I wanted. Over the years, I was suckered in by the video content, citizen cons, yeah. etc., and kept spending. Some 50% of my pledge ships are nowhere to be seen. But I kept jumping on the new concepts and getting drawn in by the hype around patch releases and citizen cons. Long story short, after some time thinking really hard about what I'd blown my money on, I've come to realize it was completely irrational. Yeah. Have dumped like 50k or more into the game, I know that's a shitload of money, and most of the money was spent within the first year. Sincerely, an idiot that believed in a game. Kickstarter backer, about 40- Well, you obviously- if you blew 50k on this in, in a year, well, obviously you have more money than common sense. K invested. Have no desire to play games anymore. All accounts... Kickback, Kickstarter backer, about 40k invested. You don't know what the word investment is. What kind of idiot calls... It's not an... What did... You don't invest a single cent. You're just buying fake video game ships. No, I'm supporting... No, you're not supporting anything. The project that was being supported, that was the first couple of years. By the time it went past, I mean, if you have a Kickstarter project and you have a certain number, past that certain number, they're just monetizing the shit out of your addiction or your stupidity or your desire to fly around nice ships in a tech demo. Not a game, tech demo. That is all going to be on you. And it's going to be all on them for taking advantage for, from people that have a obvious addiction. It's locked and we'll wait to see if any of my nieces an or nephews investment. turn You're out to be return. gamers. With every patch I see the future of this game getting darker and darker and the fact that every patch takes longer and longer can only indicate that at the core it's either a mess or just impossible. $15,000. Praetorium. I call myself a fucking retard all the time because of it. I'm now 15k in. Yeah, that's stupid. Stop! Star Stop. Citizen will collapse having never released any of the foundational promises made to the chumps yeah. or backers, however you prefer. And I'm saying that as a Praetorian. All in all, I would never suggest anyone spend any money on SC. It's a rudimentary game lacking in any serious... That is where I have my difference of opinion. That's why I still have the referral below in the video of all the content I upload. Because I believe in freedom. I believe in capitalism. I believe that adults should be able of making... If you want to try what is obviously a tech demo that is going fucking nowhere. It's going nowhere. It's actually going backwards that's the thing that freaked me out and that's when i started making a little bit more critical content i guess you could say i'm not exactly a fanboy i like the, the game enough to check it out and actually even try to play it even though it's almost impossible but i still have the referral because if you want to go try it for what is it 45 50 bucks it's getting a little bit more expensive lately it's kind of ridiculous given that they're making things worse they charge even more money 
But still, if you want to spend 50 bucks, there's people you come across and say, hey, I have 100 bucks in this and I got my money's worth in terms of the fun I've had. And sure, this is shit and it's not going anywhere. But you're not one of these idiots that think you are not investing. Well, investing what? No. You are being lied to. You are being manipulated by very well-paid experts in monetizing your dumbass, my dumbass for sure. They do that and they're very good at it. They're the best there are at this. That is something I will never take away from them. They're the best at monetizing the stupidity and the, the fear of missing out, the, the FOMO, all of these things that they're... It's study. This is all well organized. They're the best at it. But if you want to try it for 45, 50 bucks, 60 bucks, or hell, maybe if you have a shit ton of money and you want to buy 500 bucks in chips, sure, do it. I think it's a waste of time. I think that there's a point in which, at least at least for me, there was a point in which, okay, I have this one. I have, what else? Do I need to buy what now? Am I having? Am I going to have more fun by what? Buying a uh, Polaris? No. <laughs> is it? Yeah, you can see it. It's pretty, but buying pretty J. It's really buying pretty JPEGs at this point. It is just makes no sense. You don't even have a game to play it in. If you tell me, oh no, but this that would mean that I get certain return in terms of entertainment and and playing and having fun. You don't get any of that. There's a point in which you have the small ship starter, you have a bigger ship, and then you have an even bigger ship, and then there's nothing for you to do. If you already have that, spending more money is just being, it's, it's just an addiction at that point. Step when compared to other games in the genre, and especially when compared to modern games as a whole. Low impulse control, poor financial decisions, nothing else to spend money on, and wanting to help fund the development. I don't really spend much anymore, except the sub and around $50 per month. Also recommend to others not to spend money on the game, but most don't listen lol. Most don't listen and he subscribed and he still puts 50 bucks in the thing every month. Dear God, you are a retard. That is, that is someone that has a serious addiction problem and he tells others not to do it and he's still spending 50 bucks a month and subscribe? Fuck. I could have got a car with the money I've spent on little fighters. It's simply not worth it. No. no Every not. major answer to these issues is some Lucy with the football promise of a future patch, some other technical boogeyman that needs to be tamed. And in the meantime, the concept sails with constant power creep and constant punching above their weight language to distract from the glacial pace of progress. $10,000. Wing Commander. Look, I want to see SC successful, or I'd have not poured over 10 grand into it. But my track record on backing stuff ain't great. That's I was the a problem. Huge... You think that you are, and I was like that too. I'll be the first one to raise my hand. I thought that, well, yes, as long as they keep on doing it, and I want CIG to be successful, what you don't understand, and what I didn't understand back then, was that for CIG to be successful in their in their definition of being successful is making more money, not making a game. They could not care less about making a game. In fact, if they could get away with not making any kind of small little progress or just pretend content, uh, they would do none. And that's in fact where they are now, that what they're doing is taking away features from the game and calling that um, progress, right? Which is, it's borderline on this scam thing that they're trying to avoid. Legally speaking, they need to make some content, some progression every year, because if not, it is downright a scam. You're taking money and you're not doing what you're you're claiming to be doing with that money. That is a scam. That is illegal in many places. That would put them in even deeper legal issues. But they've got so fucking greedy that what little progress... They say they're doing is making the game worse, and then they change it again and again. And now we're fixing what we just broke. And the same goes for ships. Their main focus, their idea of progress, is making more money, not having an actual game ever here at any moment. And one of the and this is all super clear. If you if you haven't realized that the more money they have, the less progress they, they are making in terms of the actual game. I mean, it is it is visible. 
there's been nothing better this entire year. The game is worse than it was last year. If you look at master modes, if you look at um, a cargo, inventory, all of that is just worse for people. And it's only the most lunatic dumbass that will defend that by saying, oh, I'm having a lot more fun. <laughs> yeah, I love time sinks. It is super realistic now. No, it is the, the, the most brain dead idiot is the only one that will support this. But if you look at what they do, the meetings they obviously have. They all get together, right? They have a, yes, we, we have a, a business meeting at, at, at two. Okay, so the, the business meeting starts. And okay, we're going to be selling this ship. It's going to be a super cool fighter. It's going to be the OP fighter. It's going to have a, a lot more firepower than any, anything else. It's going to be super agile. It's going to be OP. It's going to be all powerful. It's going to be the OG of the cargo ships, of the fighters, of whatever the hell they want to push, that's what's going to be the best at. And then they nerf it, right? So the best ship for this or that, a few weeks later at times, even a few, a couple of months later, it is not, the, it was balanced. We call it balancing instead of calling it, no, I mean, it is an alpha. We need to keep on balancing things, you know? So we balance it and oh, pure coincidence, it always balances downward and of course, it always is fantastic when they're selling it. Perfect example, the Corsair. Why is it that you bought a Corsair? Well, because it was a ship with the most pilot controlled DPS. That was it. It was not the best in terms of cargo. It was certainly not the best in terms of, of flying speed and agility. It was kind of like a paper cannon, a glass cannon of a kind. But hey, you have a shit ton of guns. Oh, and you joke about it. It is an exploration. Yeah, to explore other people's uh, cargo. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, all of those jokes are fine, but people would buy it because for that amount of money, you got the best damn DPS a pilot could control. And we all know that in spite of all the bullshit, people fly alone. It's 99% of people fly alone. No one is having all. Oh, anyone wants to crew my guns? No. Who the fuck does that anymore? No. Especially with Master Mode being as boring as it is. It's a lot less fun than before. So you wanted to have the big ship with big guns and some cargo. And that was fun. The ship was actually a, a lot of fun back when things were, well, I use it all the time. Now it's crap. Oh, but it was it was always a turret, you normie. No, it was sold as a best DPS pilot control ship in the game. That's how it was sold. That's how it worked for well, years, then it was killed. And they killed it just to sell something else. You bought it, now you have to go buy something else. Oh, but the, the, the Connie, the Connie has four size five guns. No one killed that yet. <laughs> Give them a little bit more time. They just let these old ship die just to sell a new one. But hey, let's go on with this. Proponent of the Timex Sinclair home computers, which went defunct, the Handspring handset series, which was bought out, and then went defunct. And the BlackBerry handsets, which went defunct. But don't let that get you down, I'm sure Star Citizen will be different. I'm so impulsive I buy these things rather than a better computer to enjoy the game more. Running on a 10 year old PC, fuck my life. I cannot even afford to have a healthy PC food where I live. But I saved a lot of money for the game, not because just I love the game or trust in Chris, also because I wanted to invest all what I can in the best game that will change- oh, what a fucking idiot you are. You, you have problems affording food and you want to help Chris, you, you want to uh, finance, you, you want to invest in Chris. That is, yeah, you definitely deserve to lose your money, man. Sorry. Change the world for the best. I justify it because the gov gave me 8k in stimulus checks during COVID. So I said, fuck it, we ball. Fresh out of the service, young and dumb with a bunch of savings, full of regret. The Ferrari sure looks beautiful, but the motor is busted. $5,000. Space Marshall. I got over 8K in. I'd take a refund right now or sell my account if it was possible. I also need the funds as I had to walk from my job of 23 years to look after my wife. But I. Damn, so you were not in a. In a, in a and you had a. That, that is just stupid. Well, I mean, just do not believe like in this project, and I am not fooled by their marketing anymore. Lord knows I'm all in. Over 5000 Project management. Piss Look, guys, let's keep it super simple. Uh, don't spend a single cent. It is, first of all, it's not an investment. You don't know what the word means if you think this is an investment. An investment is something that gives you a return, right? You put 5K and you get 
50k a month, right? That's an investment. Oh, that, I know of better investments. Okay, you put a thousand k and you get 10 cents a month. It doesn't matter. What matters is that that's an investment. It is money that makes more money for you on its own. It's not you running around doing things. No, it's on your own. Makes money. That's an investment. Even when people, and this is something that I actually do in my in my other channels about survival and preparedness. People often in, in the preparedness world they talk about, oh, I invested in silver and gold. No, you did not. You bought silver and gold. You bought maybe a shit ton of guns, right? You bought maybe a cult python that is worth three, five k, right? Yeah, that's. <laughs> There's people that could have had a, a cult python sitting in their safe, but no, they have ships. All right, each one with their own thing. The big difference is that the Python will be worth even more money, and you do have it, and it's not a bullshit lie JPEG. That's a big difference. It actually increases in value, which is also pretty cool. Not planning on selling any of mine anytime soon, but hey, it's nice to know that if you ever need the money, you can turn it into it. Um, but this is just poor, I mean, financial. This is, don't put a sing, every single cent you put into this is absolutely completely wasted. Not only that, every single cent you put, and if you have millions of dollars and you think, I will just go and buy 10K worth of chips, know that you're making things worse because you're encouraging a model that focuses only on selling more chips. So even if you give them 100K, the only thing that they will feel is, this is working great. We need to do more of this, more of not making the game, more of selling crap that people obviously still will buy. There's no number in which they will be satisfied with because the model is just making money by selling ships. The more ships we sell, the better we do. That's success for Chris Roberts right now. Not making a game. He has no intention of doing one fucking thing with completing the game at all in case it is not obvious enough at this point. Be smart. Make your own choice. As an adult, you want to spend 50, 100 bucks, sure, go with... I will honestly, most people, I don't think that anyone with any common sense should be spending more than that at this point. If you did spend more than that, I hope you now realize how wrong you were, how you got tricked into this maybe, how maybe you have some, yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> self-control issues. But damn, there's people that obviously make some... Uh, there's people that are even more of a dumbass than I am, so that's always comforting. But yeah, don't do that. Don't be uh, so naive into falling for what it is more obvious day by day, a business model that focuses on something that has nothing to do with making a video game. See you later, guys. Take care.